Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and today we're going to be talking about a solution from Switchblade Systems called Cloud Control. It is a vMix instance running in the cloud uh, and being controlled by a Scarhoy controller and bringing in SRT from different places on the earth through different methods to mix video live in the cloud with a physical control surface. So let's take a look at what we have here. This might take a little bit of uh, deciphering to understand, but on the left here, I have an actual copy of vMix running locally on my computer. And on the right here, I have my copy of vMix running in the cloud. In both of them, I have a camera aimed at my local um, AirFly controller, and that way I can show you that I'm controlling actually two copies of vMix and why that's important I'll get into later. But the important thing is, is that when I press a button on the top row here, it's going to bring up uh, that input on my preview bus in the cloud. So right now this IP controller is sending a command up to the vMix in the cloud. And as I bring up different inputs and press them, I'm able to transition between them. Furthermore, um, I'm also, I've also created PTZ presets for some of these inputs. So you'll see as I select um, different buttons that the PTZ camera is moving around. And that PTZ camera is here, but it could be anywhere because we're bringing it in via SRT. So um, let me go over the different uh, inputs that we have running up in the cloud. So I have a clip. It's just a chroma key clip. I have an overlay and I have another video clip. Then I have two SRT sources. This is the uh, SRT source coming in from our Kiloview uh, unit is taking this camera here and sending it up to the cloud. And then I have this SRT source is actually coming in via a uh, MG300, which is another Kiloview product, which is transcoding NDI HX2 into SRT. And then these um, three inputs over here, these three inputs are PTZ presets. So if we go into the PTZ settings, we'll see that I'm connecting to my global IP address to a particular port number, and I'm sending PTZ commands as I change to uh, different um, as I change to different presets. So it's sending that command down to here or wherever that PTZ camera is, and then sending that command uh, the the SRT video back to the cloud. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements that make this up. On the right here, I've brought up my E1's uh, web control UI, and it shows a little shot of the um, little preview shot of what the camera is seeing that's going into the NDI encoder. And we can, with this, um, we're streaming it via NDI uh, over to here, so I can have an NDI preview. Uh, on my local copy of vMix, and then via SRT, which is configured here, uh, we can have our SRT copy running um, up in the cloud. So that's this input here. And then um, the other input, this one is the Ada PTZ camera. Um, this one is being transcoded from NDI HX into SRT using the MG300. So this is um, what I've done is I went to discover and it lists the different NDI sources that are available to me. And then I select one and then I go to um, stream. And over here, this is where I've configured uh, what my source is, which is my camera and my server, which is my SRT. So I'm streaming to 184.105.4.180 at port 501 which again is another one of my inputs. And then uh, if we go to our Scarfway controller, we can see that uh, there's two things going on here. One is um, we have the Scarfway controller and we are able to configure it in a way that lets me control both my uh, local sources. So down here I have my local inputs and then up in the cloud, I have my um, cloud sources. So these are my SRT feeds. And to see how that was configured, we can go into the configuration for the Airfly and see that I've actually loaded two vMix cores. And I'm gonna show you just um, input one here. Input one of the program bus is set to either just control vMix in the cloud or by hitting the shift button here, 
I can now control both of them at the same time. So when I hit three here, it's doing putting input three and preview on my local copy and input three um, over here. But let me let me rearrange it so this one, so two and two are the same. So when I hit number two, it puts this uh, camera of my um, Scarhoy controller here in input number two. So we could mimic local and remote, but more importantly for the Gemini version of cloud control, we can also do um, two copies of the cloud because if we look at the, uh, the shift version, we see that we're sending preview and act to two different versions of vMix, and those two can be two remote copies or even three. So we could have a local copy and two remote copies, and these are the IP addresses or our local and our remote. So we're sending commands um, possibly simultaneously to multiple vMix copies to create redundancy uh, and RTMP stream failover. So those are a couple of the different elements that are making up our, our live remote production here. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of how to blend these different technologies together in a powerful and unique way by bringing together the Kiliview encoders to transcode NDI uh, HX2 into SRT or just to simply encode SDI or HDMI into SRT and using vMix uh, running on a cloud instance to blend those things together and be controlled via a Scarhoy controller, uh, any Scarhoy controller to control not just one, but possibly many instances of vMix. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co. Thanks for watching.